I was on the cusp of building my first windmill on this hill uh, outside Strada. It took five years of battles with planners, grid companies, the National Trust, all kinds of people, went to the high court, all kinds of crazy stuff. I did it all myself um, and learned the whole process completely. I had, in effect, a blueprint to build more windmills, and I thought, well, I should, you know, I should do that. Um, but to do that, I needed a fair price for the power. Went to see the local uh, electricity company, and they laughed at the idea, literally laughed at the idea uh, and I left the meeting thinking well in that case I have to become an electricity supplier I have to cut out the middleman to reach the end user to get a fair price to build more windmills so April 1995 I formed uh, what is now Ecotricity I think I had the idea in a bath actually and uh, hey ho here we are so you were the first renewable energy company in the world you just said yes you know you literally built the turbine oh, the yourself. wind energy absolutely yeah you know you, there's very few people on the planet that would have been in that situation, I'm sure there's a few, but not many. Today, fast forward to 2025, Ecotricity has 168,000 customers. Octopus and British Gas have 12, 13 million accounts in terms of how many people they serve. Do you ever think, you know, we had first mover advantage. I had the big idea before others realized it was even plausible. I had the technical understanding. We should be 10 times bigger than we are. Nope, never. Why? Well, I didn't do it for business reasons, uh, actually, conventional business reasons, which is to make money, be big, that kind of stuff. Uh, I did it because I thought it needed doing. Uh, I thought this new kind of energy should be in the world. I saw it as a route to building more windmills and stuff like that. And um, I'm not interested in money. I created a different kind of company, actually. We're not for dividend. Um, so we don't pay dividends to shareholders. All of the money we make uh, stays in the company, goes into our mission as a as a catalyst you know we we pioneered wind energy in britain we built britain's first solar park britain's first electric car the world's first national network of charging points for electric cars and a whole bunch of other stuff after that and for me that's that's where the value is to to have lived a life uh, making that kind of change it's not about size you know we've grown from uh, you know one guy on a hill in a trailer to where we are today with like um 800 people and i don't know uh, 600 million turnover, something like that, with no with no external investment, and an entire series of of innovations and firsts that that broke the mold of of, of things that had gone before us. I think that is um, uh, unmatchable. Actually, that's kind of unique, right? That's yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of there are other people out there, particularly in the US, who've started massive companies with no external investment, but you know that's because they've left another company with a load of money, 10, 20 million dollars or whatever. Whereas you were a new age traveler. Yep. 